All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So you guys seem to enjoy the video I made on would Sylvester Stallone have made a good bodybuilder, and a lot of you guys requested that I do a video also on Dolph Lundgren. Now, for those of you who don't know who Dolph Lundgren is, he was the guy who played the Russian boxer Ivan Drago in Rocky IV in 1985. So this was the tall, muscular Russian guy that Rocky had to face in Rocky IV. Um, so that 1985 Rocky IV movie was the reason that Dolph Lundgren really got successful in Hollywood was people saw how you know, big and tall he was and how crazy his physique was, and that's where he landed a lot of future roles um, from that point forward. So one important role that he had two years after um, Rocky IV was he actually played the role of He-Man in 1987. So I believe in He-Man, that's where he had his biggest physique. So in Rocky IV, he was billed to be around six foot five. Um, and 245 to 248 pounds and in He-Man he was billed to be six foot five about 250 pounds now a lot of people seem to, to uh, dispute whether or not he was actually six foot five some people say he was closer to six foot three and in both of those movies he was wearing like platform boots to make him two inches taller um, but in He-Man I believe that was the best physique that he brought in terms of the biggest size um, and overall mass because in Rocky IV he was just he was a big dude but overall he was just kind of lean and shredded but in He-Man, he had a lot bigger look, to, in my opinion at least. He had a lot bigger, thicker, more of a bodybuilder-ish look um, in uh, that He-Man movie. So when we're evaluating whether or not he would be a good bodybuilder, obviously the biggest factor we need to consider is his overall height. So even if he wasn't 6'5", 6'3", is still pretty much taller than any any of the bodybuilders that have been successful from the 1980s all the way to present day, pretty much any of the bodybuilders that were you know, in the top 10 at the Olympia or top 10 at any major IFBB show, probably none of them were over six foot one. So the height would definitely be a detriment in a bodybuilding show because overall it throws off the balance, the proportions, um, and in some cases the symmetry as well. So I think his height would definitely be a detriment. That's going to contribute to him having very long arms, which is going to lead to him having very weird uh, bicep insertions, which probably wouldn't be favorable in terms of proportions in a bodybuilding show. Um, so overall, his physique was good. He had a nice big chest. Um, his conditioning, obviously, was always very good. And still to this day, I believe he's close to 60 years old. Um, and he's still, you know, he's still pretty shredded. He's still pretty ripped. Um, so his conditioning's always been good. So I think if he competed in a bodybuilding show, his conditioning wouldn't be an issue. Um, but overall, I just think the height would just ruin it for him. So even though he was a spectacular physical specimen, I think that his height was just too much for him to have been a successful uh, bodybuilder. He was just too big and too lanky. And for those that will say he didn't train like a bodybuilder, he absolutely trained like a bodybuilder when he was preparing for He-Man. So he, maybe not for Rocky. He probably did some more, uh, some more cardio type of workouts to prepare for that boxing physique. But definitely for He-Man, you can tell he did a bodybuilding style of routine. So he definitely, we definitely got a glimpse of what he would have looked like had he trained a bodybuilding style of training. And I think overall, um, he was much better suited for Hollywood with that tall, impressive figure rather than a bodybuilding stage. So that's my opinion. Opinion. He probably not. He probably would have not been a successful bodybuilder. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power signing out.